Hey folks, hope you're having a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Are you living from your true self? You know, the person God wishes you to be. You know, let me help you create a long-term, sustainable, centering prayer practice. You know, eliminate the roadblocks that get in the way of your practice and really live from your true self, you know, the person God wishes you to be. And, and that really is true freedom, to be living from your true self on a daily basis is, is really true, true, exciting uh, freedom. Um, so contact me for a free consultation to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching and working with me in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, and see if it makes sense for you. See if we would, would work well together and see if we're a match and see if it makes sense. So today I just wanted to talk about you know five reasons to practice centering prayer. So I'll call out five. You know, one, you know, it deepens our relationship with God. You know, centering prayer really is two things. It is meditation, but it is also a relationship with God. You know, we open to the presence and actions of God within with our centering prayer practice. So it is, it deepens our relationship with God. And by all means, you know, don't give up your other forms of prayer. You know, add centering prayer to your existing prayer forms and deepen and enrich your existing prayer life. Uh, second reason, you know, it helps us become our true self. You know, it helps us discover the person God wants us to be. And it's not an end point, it's a, it's a journey. You know, our true self changes and grows over time as we trust God. Because during centering prayer, we're letting go with our sacred word of our thoughts, of our emotions, of our fears, of our anxieties, of, and, and opening to the presence and actions of God within. And it's just us and God, and we're connecting to our true self, the person God wants us to be. And then we're getting up from our centering prayer sits and walking with God. So we're sitting with God, and then we're walking with God. And we're doing this on a daily basis, and we're learning to live from our true self, you know, the person God wants us to be. A third reason is centering prayer heals and transforms us. You know, we're, we're letting go of thoughts and emotions. Where uh, often repressed emotions can come up during centering prayer, and that's it's a sa centering prayer is a safe place for this to happen. Repressed emotions and thoughts that we didn't even know we had can come out and be released. And, and we've been living with these with this emotional baggage for a lifetime. In many instances, going all the way back to a baby. So centering prayer can be very healing. Worth we're letting go of thoughts and repressed thoughts and repressed emotions that we didn't even know we had are coming out, and and, that, and that's true freedom. It, it, we don't need to and we don't deserve to live with this emotional baggage our whole life. And it also, uh, centering prayer releases uh, the tension in our bodies. We, we all hold tension in our, in our bodies and in various places, whether it's in our foreheads and our shoulders, our neck, our stomach. Um, everybody holds uh, tension and stress in their body. And centering prayer is a safe place for this stress to be released and tension to be released from our body. So centering prayer heals us and transforms us mentally and physically. And, and that's true, true freedom. We, we, we shouldn't live with all this stress and tension and thoughts of a lifetime. We, we should be freed of them. And, and that's what centering prayer does. It heals us and transforms us. Centering prayer helps us become fully present. You know, during centering prayer, we let go and come back to the present moment. We come back to God. Centering prayer teaches us really how to live with the ups and downs of life and what is required of us during the present moment. So the, the letting go that we do in centering prayer comes with us into our everyday life. We let go of things that we don't need so we can hone in and focus on what we need. So we're more present with people that, that are right in front of us that require our attention, whether it's friends, family, members of the community, uh, people at work. Um, we're more present, or we're more present with the work we need to do that's right in front of us at, at the moment. So centering prayer, coming back to the present moment in centering prayer, we take that same posture of letting go and honing in and being focused and present on the, the task or person or event or thing right in front of us that ver their very moment that requires you know, our attention. 
And lastly, uh, the fifth thing, you know, fifth reason is, you know, we need self-care. You know, we need silence. You know, our times in silence prepare us for the times we need to take action. You know, we, we need the balance of both. And if, if we don't take the time for um, self-care, for this silent care time, we're going to burn out. You can't be go, 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 on the go, on the go, on the go. You, you need rest and relaxation. You need this time in silence because the time in silence prepares us for the actions we need to take. And, and we see that in, in, in the Bible with Jesus. Jesus went away from the crowds to pray, and, and we surmise that he wasn't always talking. He was just sitting sitting with God and, and resetting and refreshing and becoming one with God and then he would go back into the crowds um, so even Jesus went away to be by himself and he needed this time to reset refresh reconnect to God and and then prepare himself for the times where he was going to be immersed in the crowds uh, doing the healings and teachings that that he was doing so that's all I just thought I would jump on and share you know five reasons to practice centering prayer so I hope you found that helpful if you have any questions or comments, put them below or um, message me. I'll be happy to respond to them. That's it. Much love to all of you, and have a great rest of the day wherever you're all at. Again, much love to all of you. Take care, everybody.